Yes, thank you, Reggie Watts. That is the new Comedy Bang Bang theme, of course. Comedy Bang Bang, the podcast here. I am the world-famous Scottabot. Uh, it's a fantastic Monday here. Um, I say fantastic, but uh, over the weekend, a lot of uh, hubbub happened. Uh, well, didn't happen. That's, that's a little more accurate. Um, the rapture did not occur. And I... I made some poor life decisions based on thinking that that was going to happen. I uh, sold off a lot of my possessions. My prized uh, Ford Festiva. My uh, minority stake in Earwolf.com. Dustin Martian, hope you enjoy that. Uh, boy. Um, told off a lot of people. My wife especially uh, may have levied uh, some serious uh, Asian racial slurs at her, saying I wasn't going to take her shit anymore down here on Earth. I'd see her up in heaven. Well, um, not happen. Not didn't happen. In, didn't happening. I'm trying to say didn't happen and not happening. Trying to combine those two. Didn't happen. Doesn't seem like it's going to happen anytime soon. Um. If anyone out there has any extra t-shirts I could borrow, send them my way. They, uh, you know, they can have writing on it. Um, all right, let's get to our first guest here today. You know him uh, most recently from The Conan Show, but he has starred in his own shows. Uh, something Barker, P.I., Andy Barker? Mm -hmm. Andy Richter controls the universe? Mm -hmm. Andy has quintuplets? I wanted them all to be Tony, but they wouldn't <laughs> let me be Tony. <laughs> Tony Danza had a lock on that. Yeah. Uh, Andy Richter is here. Andy, how are you, my friend? I am good. Thank you so much for showing up here post-rapture. Um, yeah, how about that rapture? Yeah, you know, went down, nothing happened. That was a crazy old dude, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My wife has been um, has made one of those uh, hashtag things to uh, try and get him uh, to be the host of SNL. <laughs> I'll have Betty <laughs> White. Big Facebook which, oh, that page. Is so awesome. Oh, uh, and make him every sketch is just about how <laughs> what he's doing. Hey, why are we we're dressed up in our uniforms now? What is a rapture uniform? I don't know. I just think of <laughs> those, all those people that killed themselves. With the uh, the new Nike sneakers, remember that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That group. Do you know? It was the cult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. The whatever band, the cult. <laughs> the band Ian Astbury <laughs> killed himself. Oh, the Nike Heaven's sneakers. Gate. Is Heaven's that Gate what they're people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, people who killed themselves after seeing Heaven's Gate. <laughs> right. Shimino, like Shimano, Hasenthal Incorporated, like Warren Beatty. Um, yes, no, I, uh, the, I just was glad that it didn't happen just because imagine those smug pricks. Can you, oh, man. Oh, I mean, they'd be in heaven, I guess, but <laughs> Jesus. That's a lot like what heaven, I imagine heaven to be, is just a bunch of smug pricks. Yeah, sitting yeah. Sitting around congratulating yeah, each other. Yeah, exactly. You get tired and, of just shaking hands and congratulating each other as Well, angels. the thing, too, is that, like, isn't pride supposed to be a sin? And how could you not, after... Living the life of a fucking kook, standing on street corners, yelling at people through like cheap, tinny microphones. Now, then you go to like up to you know the yeah the Asgard basically, <laughs> and uh, and like how could you not be like holy shit? And I you know throw your arm out, patting yourself on the back for being right. Tell me the truth because I experienced this. I found myself as it approached getting. Honestly, a little nervous. Like, I, what if it is true? <laughs> I had, I only had like uh, a moment of that, but it was more. It was less like, oh no, I won't. It's because I won't go to heaven. Because I do feel like, like actually, somebody won on on Twitter. Because uh, I tweeted HTTP yeah. colon backslash backslash <laughs> Twitter dot com right right. Um, I tweeted some picture or something of uh, that 
I retweeted something that was like we're getting about the really rapture. into the process on this Twitter well, thing. Can I? Ch- are we? I mean, please, it's a fucking podcast. <laughs> what, that is the slogan s- of this show. <laughs> it's a fucking podcast. I can't talk about Twitter on your podcast. A little too arcane. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, but the, somebody somebody put on the mind thing said like, "What if the rapture happened, but just none of us went? Wouldn't that suck?" And I'm saying it with kind of a country accent. Um, <laughs> to prove how dumb this person was. Well, I, because I do think like, yeah, it would suck if God had set rules so high that no human could possibly follow them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would suck. And it would just sort of make God irrelevant. So, oh, yeah, he had rules for this club and we all fucked up and couldn't do it. Like, okay, well, then fuck that club. What if there uh, – I wonder if there were any missing persons from yesterday that people just assume <laughs> those were the only people who went up there. Somebody somebody I know said that it would be a perfect time for, like, you had religious family members to just never call them again. <laughs> <laughs> just, or to murder them and drop them into a that lake. Too. That too. That's more work, though. That's really a lot more work. That involves lifting. <laughs> I, Dropping off the face of the earth, doesn't it? I honestly, I sat there, I got kind of nervous, and it gave me a preview of what my deathbed is probably going to look like if I don't go in an accident or something sudden. Right, right. It gave me a look at the kind of the moral quandary of like, oh shit, is this, like, am I going to, say I know I'm going to die in a week. Right, Okay, I'm sitting there on my deathbed, I have all my family members around me. You've got that kind of plasticky pillow. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that they can rinse off. <laughs> um, and I'm, I got a glimpse into how I'm going to feel about a, a death, I think. About I'm going to have that fear of like, oh, is this all there, uh, all there is? Mm. And maybe I should like switch over and become religious in my last. Or become Peggy Lee. Hmm. I don't know what that means, but... Is that all there is? Ah. Is that all there is? Peggy Lee, let's talk about her. Okay. Hot for the 50s. I think if she were around now... Right. I don't think she'd be getting any second glances. No, she was one of those women, too, that I think became so giant that she started just wearing a tutu and being shot... From the or Moo Moo, yeah, Moo Moo. I'm sorry, <laughs> Tutu Moo Moo. Maybe there's a Tutu Wait under a the Moo Moo. She's wearing a Tutu uh, and someone shot her. You're no, saying? no, no. But she would just get shot like in face, you know, like close ups. Oh yeah, kind of like the the woman from Heart. <laughs> you know, I think she maybe the woman from Heart just the ripped woman off from Heart Peggy to Heart. Lee. No, not. The, <laughs> the, uh, hey, when they get together, it's murder. <laughs> oh Max, hey Max. <laughs> Was well, that your tire? Did you throw up on your shirt? I, I was trying to remember the other day. Did the hard to hard people? They were just rich kind of drinkers, kind yeah, of weren't they? Rich douchebags but who lucked into come, solving crimes. But did people come to them with crimes, or did they just always happen to be around? Was it happenstance, or was it? I don't remember. Uh, but hmm. it is like because it would. How could it sustain itself if they were just rich people? Well, no, they just everywhere they go on vacation. There's a murder. A like, uh, Every vet they take their purse dog to. There's a murder. <laughs> that's a lot like Jessica from Murder She Wrote. She never sought out those crimes. She but would she just wrote be there. Murder now. Oh, really? She, she would nev- just be there, and they would occur, and she oh. was the one to solve them. So it's, it gets you wondering, like, right. why does death follow this old lady around? You know, is she the avatar of death? Could be. Maybe she didn't exist at all. Maybe she actually is someone who uh, none of the other characters see, and she's just uh, she's like Bruce Willis in the, the Sixth Sense. What? I never saw that. <laughs> you ruined it for me. Hey, now. this country guy I'm talking to is really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined that for me, Andy. Give me a brief description of what you're up to. It's summertime. Oh, I was so nervous you were going to say my penis. I, I, there's no, <laughs> no way that would to make be a it long good. description. Mm, ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. Wah. I knew a girl who would do that anytime you'd make a joke. She would she would do either that or she would go whap whap, really sarcastically right. to you, like you, oh, just unpleasant. So who, you married her. <laughs> <laughs> but then I learned that whap whap is actually a Laotian folk song, <laughs> and she was giving me a tribute. That's the, the name of one of her ancestors. <laughs> oh whap whap. Oh whap whap. She's whap. invoking him. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Look down upon us and bless this joke. Yes. Oh great. Bump 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 bump. Please look down and see our supplicants. A young man. I guess he's young. Uh, <laughs> young and hot. <laughs> he just walked into the uh, the studio here. He's an old favorite. You know him as Buddy Valestro. Valestro. 
Velastro. Velastro. Why and- you continue to mispronounce my name, Scott Oxman? <laughs> it's very insulting. <laughs> You're right. Uh, the Cake Boss is here with us. Hey, Cake Boss! Yay for I Cake I made boss. cakes! <laughs> in case you forgot who I am and what I do. Did you say in cakes you forgot? Oh, I wish I had. And that should be your new catchphrase. <laughs> Just in cakes! In cakes you forgot, and oh, that's your picture. Justin Cakes, that would be like uh, Justin. Oh, Justin Tippa Cakes! Wow, <laughs> <laughs> we've already peaked. <laughs> that's like a cake that thinks it's funny. Because oh. famous people tell it it's funny. Uh, right. But it's just normal. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just outgoing. It's like somebody at your office that's like, hey, he's a nice enough guy. <laughs> He's not the most hilarious person in the world. Good singing voice, though. Oh, he you got to give him like, that. He can sing like a bird that's a cake. <laughs> Justin Timber Cakes. Did you see that guy in England? He made an uh, angry bird's cake for his son. Where is this now? England? England. In the United Kingdom. <laughs> he made this angry bird's cake for his son, and his son was like, oh, papa, that's what they say over there. He's uh, like, oh, papa, I love you for making me this elaborate angry bird's cake. Ah, I've been working on angry bird's cake for years. <laughs> really? It predates the game. <laughs> you just had the idea. Did it come to you in one of your cake visions? I, I, I laid my hands on a dead bird in the park. He got I, Something happened to him. I don't know. Maybe he died of natural causes, but uh-huh. I suspect the foul play. <laughs> I it's thought true. maybe somebody tried to burn this bird. Is that bird. a pun? Foul play? I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> okay. So, I, I lay hands on this bird to see if I could communicate to the great beyond the bird heaven. Sure. Now, as we've established on the show. Oh, yeah. You should probably uh, get people up to speed. Yeah. If you haven't heard it, one of Cake Boss's previous appearances, <laughs> we Cake Boss doesn't just talk about cakes. He also, uh, at one point in your career, you were bitten by a... A cake bug. A radioactive cake bug. No, it's a regular cake bug. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I got regular that detail cake bug wrong. bit me, and uh, they don't bite people that much. But uh, this one bit me, and then he uh, he poured into me the gift of the second sight. So you can communicate with the dead. Hold on a second. Oh. Second sight, I can see the future. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought at one point. Hold on a second. I got to but you making me very frustrated. I'm so sorry. Then at another point, I got bit. I was making a, 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 a pyramid cake for an Egyptian client. Oh, you should make that for Andy Richter. Oh, yeah. host of oh the my pyramid. God, that'd be so perfect. Well, I'll put a pin in that. All right. Because I, I do want to talk about it. All right. At length. I, I, at length. <laughs> to, the, to the detriment of the podcast. Sure, yeah. Uh, I got bit by, I was making this uh, pyramid cake for this Egyptian guy who was planning his own uh, Egyptian-style funeral, mm-hmm. and I got bit by a cake scarab. Oh, right. That's what happened. And then I gained the power to communicate with the dead, including fictitious dead people. So now when now you- that's- Wait, the cake scarab is the cake bug. It's not two separate occasions. Oh, two, two separate, separate occasions. Oh, my goodness. I get bit by so many insects. Oh, my God. Cake-related. There's been more cake-related insects you've been bitten by? <sighs> more on that later. Okay, good, good. <laughs> uh, so that's what's going on. So when you laid your hands upon the bird, you were hoping yeah. to communicate with its I dead wanted to self. get a window into bird heaven. Sure. Because I long suspected that there's heaven for every living creature on God's green earth. Mm-hmm. And so we're like, not all living together uh, in an ecosystem that is dependent upon one another. No, we are separated, and it's, it's every segregated. man for himself, or bug for bug self. Yeah, I didn't want to get into every species on the planet. <laughs> to go Give us a couple, example. though. Okay, it's uh, every whale for whale self. <laughs> it is <laughs> every flower for flower self. Sure. Yeah, and so on, and etc. But you must have a couple more. All right. Um, it's every bat for bat self. <laughs> it's every... Now, are the... Are Hold the, on a second. I'm thinking of things. Every platypus for platypus itself. Okay. D- may I interject with a question? Now? Oh, I wish you would. Are, Even though it was your idea to make me name more things. <laughs> are every species of bat segregated? So a fruit bat is uh, not uh, in a different bats. heaven? So just all bats. Yeah. Oh, they're not happy about it either. They get up there and they're like, oh, fruit bats. The I'm a of vampire bats. bat. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, a platypus heaven must be small compared to, say, like, roach heaven. There's there's 10 platypuses in there. Wait a minute, hold on. Because there's fewer platypuses? Yeah, yeah. Because I would think species. because they're so much bigger than roaches. No, but there's so many roaches on the planet. So there's many so many roaches. roaches. It's very crowded in roach heaven because they're also very pious. But but platypuses, <laughs> they're sinners. 
<laughs> oh, they break the Ten Commandments. They don't honor yeah. their father and mother. They take the Lord's name in vain and platypus talk. Mm. They're constantly bearing false witness against their neighbors. <laughs> Not honoring the Sabbath. They do honor the Sabbath. I oh, got to really? say. That's the wow. one they get really right. Great but about that. It's, it, you can't just do one and then you're in the grave. Right, like exactly. it, It's ten for a reason. Yeah. This is what the platypus God says to them. <laughs> what is that reason? Because <laughs> that's how he wants it. Oh, okay. And he likes everything just so. Yeah, it's easy yeah. to remember, too. Yeah, to, we're, well, I mean, our yeah. numerical system is based on the Deca tens. Right, right. Yeah. It was the fingers. Deca so many fingers. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so now you laid your hands upon this bird. I laid bird. my cake hands upon this bird. <laughs> so you have cake very hands. Very dead. Well, they're not made of cake. They make cakes. Yeah, okay, great. I call them my cake hands. <laughs> it's just to remind me what they're for. It's like Woody Guthrie wrote on his guitar, this machine kills fascists. And so I look at my hands and I say, these hands make cakes. Okay, sure. It's not poetic. It's more literal, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I do. I'm constantly saying it to myself. Anytime I look at my hands, that's what runs through my head, like a little ticker tape. Yeah, these hands make cakes. These hands make cakes. These hands make cakes. That's what I sounds like in my head. Oh, I wish someone would kill me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Not all the time. No, but no, just wait. When you're doing something unsavory with your hands. Do you, is I it think hard? I know what you mean. Well, there's a few things. Take it out the garbage. It, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anything you know, where you're and, yeah. not making a cake. Yeah, and taking yeah, yeah, out yeah. the garbage can be interpreted many ways. Oh, oh. I read you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> now, is it troubling to you that those are the same hands that make cakes? Oh, enormously. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I'm yeah. a tortured soul. And, I would uh, think. <laughs> yeah, I, I sometimes wish that I could be transplanted into a different body As that it, doesn't make cakes. Do you perform <laughs> any kind of self-flagellation at all? Uh, Constantly. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, are you familiar with the Da Vinci Code? That oh, book? sure, yes. Yeah, I'm like that weird albino. I'm always hitting myself with stuff. <laughs> I can't, I look, I'm not rich. I can't afford all the fancy stuff that those guys get yeah, in open day. Count of nine tails. <laughs> yeah, I do what I can. Like, I, I'll get like a... Uh, grab a spatula every once in a while. A spatula yeah. or a bunch of uh, a whisks tied together. Pastry bag full that. of pie weight. Pastry bag. That's more pleasurable. I had to stop doing that. I was like, this is like heaven. <laughs> it's like a one-man pillow fight. <laughs> All right, so you laid Why your, were we talking about? You, you laid bird. your hands upon I laid this my bird, cake hands on this bird, this deceased bird. And I was like, now I can't remember why. I'd, oh, to, to, to appear at the bird heaven. Yeah. How do we get on to this? In because the of the place? angry bird's cake. Oh, the angry bird cake! And this I was going to ask you was, did the bird seem angry? Like it had died in anger? That, Angie, thank you so much for You're getting welcome. me back on track. Angie. This guy, this bird, he was furious because he had been murdered. Oh, no. <laughs> it was a dispute with a business partner over this nest they were going to build. <laughs> was it a human business partner? <laughs> no, it was another bird. So the nest was a commercial property. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. It, it wasn't out, zoned correctly? It was another bird. And this this other bird, this partner, was like, hey, I got this pig. He's interested in investing in this nest. And the bird, the dead bird, was like, what? That's crazy. A pig has no interest in a nest. I suspect foul play. This guy's up to something. And then the bird partner killed the bird. Oh. Who is dead? So what was the motive, though? Because the, it always goes back to the money, though, it's doesn't money. it? money. Follow the money. That's what this dead bird said yeah. to me. Only in, in bird uh, language, money is seeds and... Uh, uh, feed. No, right? it's money. These uh, wait, they're they're actually passing money back. Yeah, in the they're not stupid. <laughs> like, uh, come on, Sky, you can't buy stuff with uh, seeds. <laughs> I thought I thought the birds more bartered in order to. They like things. Oh, they like material possessions. <laughs> okay, well that's why they're always stealing like little shiny things like rings and bracelets. And... That's what I'm trying to tell you. Got oh, and they cash those in for money. Yes, I see. Yes, is it all based on the gold standard? Like, is there? Yeah, they're still on the gold standard. Mm -hmm. The birds. So they, they have, have they have a treasury somewhere where all of the bird gold. Yes, yeah, there's a bird treasury. Okay, it's heavily guarded. It's like uh, Fort Squawks. I don't understand what you're saying to me. Right? Anyone? It, no, you're That, that was met you with a it's lot of silence in the room here. As much as there could be. <laughs> Is there a way to take any sound out of the room? <laughs> that it's a total vacuum? All right, then. So tell us about Angry Birds, then. How did it, the bird was angry and it gave you the idea, or did you peer into the future and yeah, you saw the future I, of the game? I, I'll admit, I was a little selfish. And when this bird got angry, I just started fantasizing about a game that could be turned into a cake. 
and I forgot about his problems. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, I'll take responsibility for that. That's where I failed as a person. Where did you leave the bird? Did you did you just? Oh, kind of- just by the in the in the ground. I'm not gonna. It's a dead bird. So you buried disgusting. the bird? No, no. I on the ground, I should say. Oh, okay. I left him where he was. All right. Hey, look, yeah, he's got a family. It's up to them to make the funeral arrangement. <laughs> I offered to make a cake for the funeral. Oh, you did? Well, yeah. that, at least you did that. I said, little bird, should your family elect to have a traditional funeral for you, I will make the cake. And that I'm assuming that was psychically you were you were not actually saying those words in that inflection. I do say it out loud. It helps to do oh, it. Oh, okay. It helps okay. to channel. So you were speaking bird language then, tweet, tweet, tweet. Uh, translated. No, or... he's in the grip. Yeah, he can understand human speech so, now. Oh, so when you're in heaven, you understand. How do you think those pirates, uh, they get so good at talking English? Did, did you say pirates? I did not say pirates. Uh, I said pirates. Oh, okay, okay. How do you think they, oh, because they learn, they're one of the few species that These is... pirates, they know what they're saying. They're not oh. just repeating things mindlessly. That's why it's so hard to get them to say some stuff because they're like, I don't want to say that. Hmm. Because uh, based on moral grounds. Moral, personal taste. There's a lot of things that parrots uh, make decisions based right. upon. Okay, so we have we covered why you made an Angry Birds cake? Or I wanted we- to make the Angry Birds cake. And then this guy in England, she beat me to it. And his right. dumb son, it's like Willy Wonka. It's spoiled rotten kid. Ah, uh, Augustus Gloop. I hope he turns into a cake. <laughs> Wait, I thought you Wouldn't said. That be you, the- I, I don't mean to be a stickler here. But you said in the pr- beginning of this that you had been making Angry Birds cakes for years, predating the game. So no, I was. Go- I had an idea for Angry Birds. Oh, cake. all right. Then I misunderstood. I d- checked the tape, people. I really think you said. That. Hey, I can hear you. <laughs> oh, I put my <laughs> hand over mic- my mouth. Well, you're though. on a microphone. Oh, right, and you're wearing headphones. <laughs> Well, it's like you whispered that directly into my skull. <laughs> how how often, Seriously, Cake Boss? May I call you Cake Boss, or should I call you Buddy? You may call me what you wish. All right, Cake Boss. Uh, but, how, often, how often do you get ideas for cakes which you do not follow up on? Scott Oxman, you have to understand. Have you ever seen the movie It's a Beautiful Mind? The movie It's a Beautiful... Yes, I believe I have. Did I say movie? I, I think you did. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, in this movie... This guy, he's got such a beautiful mind. He's always seeing a mathematical equation, sh- sh- dancing uh-huh. around like sugar plums in his head. <laughs> sure. And that's what it's like for me with cake ideas. She's like, I look around this room and I see a million cake ideas. They're all trying to get me. You're, <laughs> you're trying like, to get me. You're like Virgil in The Usual Suspects where uh, everything in the room can mean something to you. I think you can be verbal. No, I mean Virgil. Oh, who is he again in the movie? <laughs> he was Verbal's brother. We didn't see that much of him. <laughs> no, he was around, though. He's talked about a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for, uh, That's like another famous classic film I can't remember where <laughs> one character's constantly referenced and we never see him. Uh, it's a lot like the Marx Brothers. They would talk about them a lot and then they'd show up, right? I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, every Marx Brothers movie began with <laughs> a half hour of talking about them. And then the Q line would always be, when are those Marx Brothers ever going to show up? <laughs> and then they burst through the wall. Yeah. Oh yeah! No, I'm no, about yeah. to tell these. I'm about to tell these cameras to stop rolling. <laughs> I think you're thinking of Kool Aid commercials. Kool Aid? Yeah, Kool Aid. Hey, like, when is this Kool Aid guy hey, ever going to hey, show up? It's oh yeah, Chico it's, Hopper. it's me, Kool Aid. <laughs> na me. na na. It's gonna me, Gummo. This is Scott Abad. We're here with Andy Richter. We're here with Cake Boss and uh, Cake Boss. Cake Boss has uh, a lot of stuff to talk to us about. But before we do that. <laughs> Before we do that, why don't we play a little game? It's a game that we like to call Who Said It? <laughs> Said it. All right. Time to play Who Said It? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you talk about anyone else wasting your airtime? How dare you? The gall. The unmitigated gall. All right, Andy, you've never played this, but I'm sure you know how to play. Sure, uh, I, don't, I wasn't listening, but I'm, I'm ready to go. I have improv training. Basically, I have a lot of famous quotes here. Okay. And uh, I'm going to say the quote, and if you can guess who said it... The titular phrase, you will get a point, and we'll count up the points at the end of the game, and we'll see who wins. 
All right, we will start with Andy to my left. Andy, who said it? A house divided against itself will not stand. Oh, you just said it. Well, uh, yes, I did. This is an easy game. The, he's right. The first, so he's easy. Right. The first person to say it, uh, maybe I should say. The person to make it famous. Well, nobody else here said it. You said it. No, I mean the first person in history, of course. What? I don't know who that was. The first person in history? Well, Adam. <laughs> I'm winning the game. <laughs> it's not your turn, but if you want to guess Adam, then it, uh, yeah. or the Adam. I don't like it's not my turn. I don't know. Was it Winston Churchill? I don't. Re- I remember the phrase. I don't remember who said it. Great guess. Unfortunately, no. Abraham Lincoln. Oh him. Oh, he was a good one. He was talking about, the, of course, the Civil yeah, War. Yeah, the Civil War. The that House makes sense. Yeah, more I'll sense go than with, I'll, I'll believe you. All right. You'll sign off on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds all right. I endorse it. I while the kick boss was talking, I should have Googled it. <laughs> oh, oh, that is a great. Yeah, we, is cheating allowed? I, I should not have allowed phones into the studio. Hey, Cake Boss, if you want me to install them for you, I will. All right, let's uh, work out a deal. All right, this is gonna be have to be like Who Wants to Marry a Millionaire? I'm saying that wrong. Perhaps what is that game show? Oh, whom wants to marry a millionaire? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who wants to finger a millionaire? <laughs> oh no, what is that show? Uh, who wants who to wants be to a be millionaire? One? Really? Is that yeah, what it's called? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a the, terrible but they, name. they did have one called Who Wants to Marry a Millionaire, That's, but it wasn't Who Wants. Was it? It's, I no. want to marry a millionaire. <laughs> who wouldn't it's want marry a millionaire? It was an was, imperative. I think it was who wouldn't want to marry a millionaire. <laughs> all right, Cake Boss, hey, coming boss. to you now. A friend to all is a friend to none. Oh, I'm gonna say. Hey, Scott, what's going on? Oh yeah, Use your machine. <laughs> no, no cheating. Oh. Put that down. Oh. Put that down. You really got me on that cheating clause. Yeah. <laughs> friend to all is a friend to none. That does not even sound remotely familiar. Mm. I'm going to say it was Aesop. Very close. From you, Fables. You got the A correct. It was Aristotle. Oh. Aristotle. I was, my next guess was going to be A, Whitney Brown. <laughs> <laughs> and then Whitney Cummings. We have no score at this point. All right, let's turn to Andy Richter. A man who dares to waste... One hour of time has not discovered the value of life. Oh, what a dick that guy is. Who said it? I don't know. It sounds like some shit. Well, no. Wait. A, dare, a man who dares to waste one hour. Maybe uh, Whitman? No, I'm sorry. It was Jay Leno. <laughs> Jay Leno. A man who dares to waste one hour of time has not discovered the value of life. I'm sorry, it's, we are yeah. still scoreless. It's, it's when I said something about why not to, why not watch my show. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you Jay Leno? Nah, I'm just doing his voice. Are you buddy? I don't Astro? understand what's happening. <laughs> How is this possible? It's a it's a very it's a very close impression of Jay Leno. You've are been you? possessed by Jay Leno, <laughs> aren't we all? Were Did you, you bitten by, by a sca- You got bit by Jay Leno bug. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wouldn't he be yeah. bitten by an no, Andy actually, Richter bug? Uh, no, actually, no. I was I was about. walking by Jay Leno's house and was hit by the turkey that got thrown or the roast beef that got thrown out the window. You know, I don't know <laughs> what you're talking about. about. Yeah, that. He wrote a children's book about oh. like a roast beef getting thrown out the window. It's like a, I think it was like a. A cute retelling of like a moment of like wild domestic violent <laughs> Italian rage from his childhood. Like somebody, his dad getting angry and throwing a roast out the window. And he tells it in this like completely emotionless style. <laughs> it's good when childless people uh, write children's books. Oh, it's great. It's not, it's not cynical at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Who said it? Turning to Buddy now. Hey, boss. Uh, four score. And that makes 28 points. Oh, it sounds like Abraham Lincoln to me. John Madden. Who? Of course, talking about uh, football, football seven points, yeah. He, is he still with us? <laughs> I believe he is, yes. Why? I don't know. He hasn't let go what, yet. What keeps him alive? <laughs> his, gargoyle po- his gargoyle power. <laughs> <laughs> Did he get bit by gargoyle bug? <laughs> He got bit by a gargoyle bug. All right, Andy Richter, turning to you. Here we go. Famous uh-huh. quote. Who said it? I am prepared to die, but there is no cause for which I am prepared to kill. Lenny Kravitz. Mmm, so close. That's Dr. William H. The Cause Cosby Jr. Oh. Talking to Camille. There's no cause for which I am prepared to kill. He was telling her he would not uh, defend her uh, with murder. 
murdering her assailants. How did it come up, do you think? I don't know. She's uh, probably just one of those what ifs like, hey, if we were uh, seeing uh, the Mask of Zorro and we came outside and a, and a mugger came up to us and uh, tried to steal my pearls, would you jump in front of a bullet for me? Are you talking about the origin of the Batman? <laughs> you may be getting that confused with Cosby. Are you saying that the uh, Theo would have become the, the Batman <laughs> yeah. in that scenario? At least Cockroach. Cockroach is not related by blood to the cause. Yeah, but maybe he would to the Huxtable family. So he's over there all the time. He's like family. I'll grant yeah. you that. Sure. You oh, they what? love Cockroach. I was thinking that the 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 person that would become the Batman would be Lisa Bonet, who is married to Lenny Kravitz, and that's why I said Lenny oh, Kravitz. Oh, of course. Yeah. All right. Uh, who did, who was that? That was a buddy. No, no that, that was, was him. Or me. That it's was his you. Turn. Okay, it's so his it's Buddy's turn. turn. It's buddy's All right, here turn. We go. I'm ready to receive. All right. <laughs> Cake boss. Cake boss. All right, here we go. Who said it? Uh, okay, this is a three-parter. All right? <laughs> oh, boy. Three different quotes. Oh, one person. Oh, you killing me? He's got oxygen. I don't have time for three parts. I got cakes to make. <laughs> First quote from he's 1968. Been making cakes this entire time. You know? <laughs> Thank yes. you for noticing. Under the, t- under the table <laughs> with his bare feet. Under the table with his bare baking, feet. Yes, yeah, surreptitious food cakes. <laughs> well, <laughs> when you look at your feet, do you say with these cakes or with these feet I do the make cakes? What? Yeah, I'm married to them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of marriage, three parter from 1968. Linda Woodrow, will you marry me? Then famous quote from 1983. Renata Blowell, will you marry me? And then famous quote from 2011. Hey, David, remember when I used to ruin women's lives by pretending I was straight and in love with them? I am truly a horrible man. Who said it? I'm going to say that was... uh, Henry Winkler. (laughs) Henry Winkler? Or did you say Harry Winkler? Both. Okay. <laughs> Either one that applies? Yeah. Harry. Whichever one's right. Unfortunately, that was Elton John. Who? Elton John. Who famous is that? singer. Famous singer. Can't be too famous if I've never heard of him. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to disagree with you on that. Well, let's agree to disagree. All right. We are scoreless. Last questions. Uh, Andy Richter. The soldiers of Islam will continue planning until they cause the disaster that makes children look like the elderly. Oh, this is an easy one. Who said it? Bin Laden? So close. It's actually that magic fortune teller machine from Big. Makes children look like the elderly was your clue. So sorry, you did not get a point. All right, buddy, you have a chance to win it here. Oh, I can win it here. Oh, boy. Who said it? He, he, Shamon, where's Lisa Marie? Da, where them elephant bones? Them. Where's McCulley? Da. Shamon. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Wear my glove. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who said it? <laughs> Sherwin Williams. <laughs> so close. That was President Barack Obama announcing the assassination of Osama bin Laden. All right. No points. No one wins. But that is how you play Who Said It. <laughs> Said it. That's how you play it. That was fun. Boy, yeah, relatively speaking. I forgot that the Who used a lot of the dumb keyboards on their songs. Oh, yeah. They got into that keyboard phase, didn't they? I like the one on Bob O'Reilly, though. Yeah, the one that they don't actually play in concert. They just play a tape of it. Yeah. I, re- I remember seeing them on Live Aid or something like that, where basically that whole big keyboard solo came in, and it cut to the keyboardist. Uh, bird's eye view like oh man we're gonna show this guy playing the thing and he's just standing there chilling next to it bird's eye view like from bird heaven <laughs> yeah that's why uh, is bird heaven way up in the sky like past where birds live it's past where heaven is what yeah that's how high up in the sky it is so are the birds are ghost birds or angel birds i guess they would be constantly shitting on whoa 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 those are two different things heads? those oh. are two different things okay first of all angel birds never got a shit on people's heads it's the angels, so. Okay, it's, but ghost birds are. Ghost birds, they're the worst. <laughs> they, we're all, right now, we're all covered in ghost bird shit. We don't even know it. 
It's disgusting. Because they they shit more than regular birds. <laughs> oh, they shit out of spite. Constantly shitting. Constantly. They're angry. They got unfinished business on Earth, <laughs> and that is the shit on stuff. <laughs> Um, uh, tell us a little more, uh, buddy. Before yeah, we get, boss. To, cake boss. Before we get to, boss. before we get to actually why you're here and and uh, I'll the wait main... till you find out the reason. <laughs> before we get to that, tell us a little bit about. Are there is there anyone that you've communicated with in the afterlife recently that you you found anything out about? Last time you were here, you 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 communicated with. Uh, I can't remember exactly who, but uh, it was a fictional character, I believe. I think it was uh, the, the Colonel Henry Blake from MASH, the oh, book. Oh, yes, the book. And we were sure. trying to get a hold of McLean Stevenson, Colonel Henry Blake from MASH, the TV show. Uh-huh. It didn't go so well. <laughs> Colonel Henry Blake from the book MASH, he turned out to be a horrible racist. Oh, right. And I couldn't talk to him anymore. I, don't, I, don't, I got no truck with that. Right. You just hung up the uh, proverbial... Yeah, I went out of my trench. Yeah. So, uh, and remind everyone how you have to do this. You have to get into a trance, and how do you get into that? I go into a trance. It's, uh, it's a basic trance. It's uh, just uh, the, uh, my eyes roll back in my head, and I start speaking in tongues a little bit. Is there any kind of preparation that you need to do? No, right it's just like uh, I just decide to do it, and then uh, uh-huh. I do it. You know, it's like uh, the uh, how, how much preparation you got to do to turn a doorknob. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm legitimately asking. It's just learned behavior, in other words. Once you know how to do it, you can always do it, and it's just. I like, don't know all your technical terms, but uh, I think I, I think we're saying the same thing. Okay, so now, and I, re- as I recall, your trance is you just repeat your name over and over. Uh, or a your little, nickname. a little bit more to it than that. <laughs> really? Because I seem- make some other noises first. <laughs> okay, good. And then it ends with my name. Let's ask Andy Richter here. Ah! Andy, Andy, you've been on this earth for a while now. Forty-four years, walking the globe like Kwai Kong Jin, the Kung Fu guy. <laughs> <laughs> and you must have come across in your life some person that you wish you that who's passed on that you wish you could communicate with perhaps personally that you know or someone that uh, you're a fan of that uh, or even someone from literature who has died in the books of course they have to have died in the books because if they don't die in the books then they are still living on we all know the rules mm-hmm. if kick boss's trance is here but y- you must there must be someone that you would like kick boss to communicate with hmm Let's see. Uh, well, how about Peggy Lee? Peggy Lee, great. Yeah. We talked about her earlier in the show. And uh, what what kind of questions would you like to ask Peggy Lee before he gets a hold of her? What would you like to know? What have you always wanted to know about Peggy Lee? Uh, I guess I'd like to know, uh, <clears throat> uh, you, you know, if she had affairs with any famous fellas. Oh, that's a great question. Yeah. I'd love to hear the details of those. Now, Scott, do you have any questions? What are your questions you always wanted to ask Peggy Lee? We all have them. Uh, I would like to know, basically, if she ever had a different name than Peggy Lee. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I would like to know the date of her birth and the date of her death. Uh-huh. Basically, anything you could see on Wikipedia, but I'm too lazy to uh, look it up. Go right to the source. Yep. Yeah. I admire it. Because, you know, Wikipedia, anyone can anyone edit Anyone can edit that. And it could be wrong. It's not fact-checked at all. When, when I go on uh, Wikipedia and I see that these people are putting in things on my page, mm-hmm. like uh, the cake boss, he, he doesn't make so many cakes. Somebody wrote that. <laughs> really? Yeah, and I wrote to the moderator and I said, you got to take this off because I do make a mm-hmm. bunch of cakes. Do they have, uh, if you were to go on the Cake Boss's Wikipedia page right now, would you see all the details about being bitten by a cake bug and being bitten by a cake scarab? Somebody keeps taking that off. Why? I put it on there, and, I, and I'm like, I write to the to the owner of Wikipedia, and I'm like, I am the cake boss, and I'm telling you these things happened to me. And then I look at my Wikipedia page, and then they're not on there. So if you're out there listening to this show, please help out and try to edit. Please, all peoples of the world, including Ghana, you must know that these things have happened to me. I am the cake boss. All right, so help us out. Uh, do that instead of, of leaving a comment on our Earwolf.com page. Don't that leave would... comments on pages. What's the matter with yeah. you? <laughs> Don't you have better things to do? Come on. Uh, all right, so... Why is it, uh, for all your comments matter on uh, pages, why don't you tie a note to a pigeon and set them off in the air? <laughs> all right, so let's uh, <laughs> let's go into a trance. If, if I can... Uh, uh, 
please just ask you to do this. I know that you didn't plan on doing this, but if I, I can impose. No, I'm fine to you. do it. I don't mind doing it. Okay. So it's it, easy it, for you. It does eat away at my soul a little bit. <laughs> and I turn ever closer to the dark side. Oh, okay. And, yeah. and is it uh, ending your life uh, shorter than I think it it's prolonging was? my life. Oh, really? And it's making me a dark immortal. Oh, okay. But I'll do it. Okay, great. Do you need anything from us? Do you need us to set this up? I just need you to stop talking for two seconds. Okay, can do. Here we go. Well, it seems like you have a difficulty. Right, this is oh, Comedy right. Bang Bang. We okay, boss. Here we go. Um, Comedy I'm Bang Bang. Going, in, going into my trench. <laughs> I am now in my trench. I'm peering across the gulf of time and space into the afterworld. And I see many souls wandering around wearing robes and play little hobs. Some of them got halos. Some of them don't. Who, to whom do you wish to speak in the afterworld? Uh, should I say it or, or should Andy it? Say doesn't it doesn't matter. Should, can we say it together? If it pleases you to do so. Right, here we go. One, two, three. Harmon Maybe Killebrew. Wait, who did you Wait say? Wait a minute. Oh, Harmon Killebrew. I changed my mind. Well, you can't just change your mind at oh, the last Oh, I'm second. sorry. I'm you sorry. You did not say it in tandem. If you're going to say that part, I want to say Han Solo. Okay. <laughs> Give me an order of Wait a minute, Han Solo didn't actually die. Right, right, right. And he's Chewbacca not. died in one of the books. Right. Can we oh, talk to okay. Chewbacca? Sure, sure. All right, let's talk to Chewbacca. Okay. Three. I think that's canon. Two, one. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. I will find you in the afterworld. The fictional Chewbacca that died in one of the Star Wars novelizations. <laughs> Probably are you, are you, written by Alan Dean Foster, <laughs> the author of Splinter of the Mind's yeah, Eye, yes. can which I, I read in the fifth grade. Can I ask you a question while you're in there? Yes. Are you going to Wookiee Heaven to oh, find Chewbacca? I'm going to literary fiction Wookiee Heaven in the afterworld. Oh, Good. boy, it's crowded in here. So many Wookiees have so died. <laughs> <laughs> there was like a Wookiee genocide in one of those uh, Why, first Wookiees, movies. Why, Wookiees, I weep for you all. Oh, there he is. Hey. <laughs> well, that was pretty easy. Yeah, well, he's famous. Oh. Hey. So everyone's looking at him. He's Chewbacca, Chewbacca, everybody has questions for you. What questions do you have for fictional Chewbacca who died in the book? I have a question right off the bat. Go ahead. Would it make you upset when Han Solo would call you a mangy furball? Or when Princess Leia would, I guess. I guess... Uh, Be more like clear a- in your questions. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I don't want to waste this famous Wookiee's time. All right. So Princess Leia would call you like a flea bag or a, or a furball. Oh, my God. You're making it too conversational. Okay. <laughs> let me ask you. What, what did you think of Princess Leia? Follow up. Uh, were you happy when Who Han Solo... Who are you, Helen Thomas? <laughs> this is getting needlessly complex. Okay, <laughs> all right. What What are your impressions in Princess Leia? All right, that's a good one. <laughs> Fictional Chewbacca from the Star Wars novelizations who has passed on, shuffled off this mortal coil. What do you think of Princess Leia? What's she like? What? Chewbacca? That's rude. No, I know what she called you, but still. Hey, I know you're from a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, but this is modern times and Earth, and that's not how we talk to women. Well, if I had a glove, I would slap you across the face. I will meet you on the field of honor at dawn, Wookiee heaven time. All right, it's a date. You and I will have a blast to duel. Who is your second? I don't know who that is. No, I never saw it. No, people people have told me about it, and I guess it's on YouTube or whatever, but it just sounded dumb. Well, it's a made-up holiday. What? You can't just make up a holiday that's exactly like Thanksgiving. It's stupid. What? Don't get mad at me. I didn't make you be in it. All right. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you, too. Did that answer your question? Are you still in your trance? Yes. Were you talking about Christmas of the made-up holiday the uh, from the Star Wars Christmas special? Oh, I, was it Christmas? I believe it was. I don't even remember. It's dumb, whatever it is. It is a made-up holiday, though. You're yeah, right. yeah. Not like Christmas. <laughs> who, did he, <laughs> who did he want to be a second? I couldn't quite hear that part. 
It was some like uh, I guess the Wookiee. I was supposed to know who it is. Oh, from <laughs> one of his family. Yeah, 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 when, yeah. When they were trying to get him home. Yeah, pardon yeah. me for not knowing uh, every single Wookiee. I don't read yeah. uh, uh, Us Weekly about Wookies. <laughs> That's the name of that magazine, right? Can I, is, are you still with I'm him? I'm still in my trench. No, uh, he's gone. Oh, because uh, I wanted to know if he had sex with any famous people. I'll uh, go back there. We should also ask Chewbacca, by the way. But we're trying to communicate with Chewbacca right yeah. now to find out Who if he- Who died had, in a novelization. Yes, in one of- which I believe are canon. Uh, we're trying to communicate with Chewbacca to see if he ever slept with any famous celebrities. Can I ask you a question of my own? Sure. How did that guy ever get permission to kill off a major character in the oh. Star Wars universe? It, it made big news and people were crying and uh, that he, he dies a hero's be. death. I should hope so. <laughs> Who is crying? I should hope he didn't just get hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> Space car. <laughs> His cholesterol was sky high. <laughs> he just had a heart attack. <laughs> Much like Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, R.I.P. <laughs> some people say he committed suicide. Randy Savage or Chewbacca? De some debts. Chewbacca. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so we're trying to communicate with Chewbacca, but I guess we could communicate with anyone who's not one of the droids. Uh, we should also ask Chewbacca about the droid cake that you made at yeah, one point, if you ever heard about that. See so, if he's familiar. So you're in your trance. Um, I'm in my trance. And uh, you're, you're in the Wookiee heaven. And we're I try am you're trying to find fictional Wookiee heaven. And you're trying to find Chewbacca. And let's uh, see if you can find him. Oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> It's relatively easy. I was afraid we were going to have to go through hey, a long build again, up for that. He's famous, so it's, yeah. uh, he's not hard to pick out. <laughs> he, it's like, who, in this, very tall, who in this room is Louis Gossett Jr.? Well, it's him, because he's famous. <laughs> and everyone else is white. Yeah. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> Anyways, Chewbacca, <laughs> these guys have some questions for you. I will be the conduit from this world to fictional Wookiee heaven. Uh, what are your questions? Speak, mortals. Andy, you had your question. I just, uh, hi, Chewbacca, it's Andy Richter. <laughs> um, Wait, can we find out if that means anything to Chewbacca? I'll ask him. Chewbacca, are you familiar with Andy Richter? Oh, you are. What? Oh, what? They canceled it too soon. I agree. Andy yeah. Richter controls the universe. Is he seeing into the future oh, of the Conan show? I would have <laughs> I would have pictured him more to be a quintuplets fan, but... <laughs> I, I, he heard that he's insulted. Oh, I was just kidding. <laughs> no, just Chewbacca. because Wookiees have He was kidding too. Oh, <laughs> Chewbacca. Oh, that was great. I would high five you, but I, I cannot reach into a different realm. True. Also, he would probably cross you because he's eight feet tall. Right, right, right. Well, anyway, Chewie, uh, if I can call you Chewie. He says he is allowing you. All right. Thank you, Chewie. Um, I'm wondering, uh, since you did enjoy such a uh, you know a, a, a such fame and renown if you ever had the opportunity to uh have sex with any celebrities oh he says that's rather an inappropriate question oh, and he no. loves it oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's a bit of a freak <laughs> Chewbacca, will you answer this rather impersonal question uh, with all candor and salaciousness? All the deets, man. That's oh. what we want is all the deets. All the deets, Chewbacca. Oh, you don't say. Really? All right, I'll tell them. He had a four-way <laughs> with Natalie Wood. And Rowan and Martin from laughing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Wow. <laughs> also, the ghost of Montgomery Cliff watched the whole thing. <laughs> wow. Did they know he, that the ghost of Montgomery, or this was when he was alive? They but, knew it. They contacted a medium to have a seance so they oh. could get the ghost of Montgomery Cliff to be in the corner watching and maybe taking care of some business, if you know what I mean. Right. Hmm. Now, did some cakes. Went. <laughs> In a sexual Please. situation, <laughs> did Rowan and Martin still play their sort of persona of the aloof straight man and the sort of goofball? They switched personas. They were the same personas, but they just they each took on the other persona of the other person. I think you get what I'm saying. That must, God, that 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 must be fun for them. That is hot. It, they considered it about, oh my God, here they are. Hello, Rowan and Martin. They're there too in, Wookie, in fictional Wookiee heaven. How did you guys get in fictional Wookiee heaven? Oh, I see. They saved a Wookiee's life 
in a future Star Wars novelization. <laughs> so they were allowed into fictional Wookiee heaven. Yes. The because most... they would be roasting in hell otherwise. Otherwise, they would surely be roasting in regular hell. Wow. Is that, is that fair to other species to call it regular hell? I think so. We're kind okay. of in charge. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's from our perspective, too. That's true. That's you know. true. We're the only people who know how to use tools. Although, I guess chimpanzees have used tools, so maybe uh, not they like, might take some umbrage with that. S- not store-bought tools. Just oh. sticks and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that they fashioned into tools. Yeah, twigs yeah. to eat termites. That doesn't count. Yeah, they, don't, they don't have money to go to an ace and buy a screwdriver. Uh, Wait, how come birds have money and chimpanzees don't have money? Birds are smarter than chimpanzees. All right. All right. I don't think that's technically They're related true. to dinosaurs, the smartest creatures that ever walked the earth. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> What's smarter than a walnut? <laughs> Two walnuts. <laughs> I know that riddle. <laughs> you may pass. So, did we answer your question? Sure. That's pretty good. Any others? Yeah, well, uh, Chewbacca, any other famous people that you slept with? What? That seems crazy to me. <laughs> All right. I'll tell them. Okay. Who do we got? Dina Lohan? Dina Lohan. Is that a person? She's, yeah. She's kind Who of a wookie herself Who? in a way. That's really? Do you know Lindsay Lohan, Cake Boss? Yeah, the actress. That's her mother. What? She has a mother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is her life so horrible? <laughs> <laughs> does the mother not care about her at all? Well, you know, maybe maybe it's because <laughs> Lindsay is part Wookiee. Oh, I never considered that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why she's that. not fitting in in this planet. That's why she's so tall and hairy. <laughs> right. <laughs> can I ask Can I ask a question of Chewbacca? Yes, yeah, yeah. Chewbacca has time for one more. Two-part question. Oh, you got it. You snuck it in there, Scott Oxman. <laughs> but he already said he would. He did. He agreed to it. He's smiling at you from fictional Wookiee <laughs> Heaven. I'm smiling at him down from regular Earth. He can she. Chewy, two-part question. Did you ever have sex with Han Solo, even in college? Second part of the question, what did you think of Buddy's cake? Of the droid, the droid cake that he made that we talked about on a previous episode. He says. It's not two parts. That's <laughs> two separate questions. <laughs> hey. He's nodding and saying, that's true, Angie Richter. <laughs> but he'll he's take still... the second question first. Okay, great. He was charmed by the android <laughs> cake that I made <laughs> where C3, where R2D2 achieved sentience and mm. then had to be destroyed by eating. Can I ask, based on that question, um, follow up question, is there a sentient cake droid heaven that that cake resides in? Of course there is. Can you peer into the future before he asks or answers my question about Han Solo? Oh, okay. Can you communicate into the future or into uh, cake droid? Sentient cake droid sentient heaven. Sentient cake droid heaven. Can you communicate the with the cake that you murdered? Okay, let's take a look. At the cake boss. Mini, <laughs> mini, mini tranche. <laughs> it's a very mini tranche. All right, Side here tranche. I am. Here I am in <laughs> sentient... Droid cake heaven. Oh, there's only one guy here. <laughs> That's oh, the only hi. time it's ever happened. This, this is awkward. Uh, are you mad at me? Well, he's just saying beeps and boops. I don't know what he... <laughs> I don't know your language. He's got to be happy to have a Wait, visitor. How, co- how come Luke Skywalker can understand R2-D2 and you can't understand I'm not boops. Luke Skywalker, okay? Well, take the time to learn if you're going to murder something. Where am I supposed to learn it? I don't live in a world where we have robots that beep and boop for a language. Well, look, in The Empire Strikes Back... R2-D2 beeps and boops, and he gets responses from Luke Skywalker. I'm sure you could translate those based on Luke Skywalker's responses. I can extrapolate from Luke Skywalker's responses. The code is right there. But I'm the Luke Skywalker in this situation. Empire Strikes Back is the Rosetta Stone of your language, of the people's language. This ghost of a robot cake is saying to me. Well, now you don't because you didn't take the time to learn. And now it's too late. Uh, I hear the flaw in your logic. Okay. This isn't a robot. It's a robot cake. Sure. So but- that language does not apply. He's got his own system of language. Wait a minute. You're saying that this is a droid cake language? He's the only one of his kind. A sentient droid cake? And I murdered him! <laughs> oh, no. By eating him, he was delicious. Oh, of course you made delicious it. Delicious cake. Yeah. I shouldn't have used so much cinnamon. He never would have come to life. <laughs> You've never made that mistake again. <laughs> never again. I've banned cinnamon from the cake kitchen. 
Anyway, sorry I, I murdered you. Some, cake what, robot, goodbye. What if somebody <laughs> wants a snickerdoodle cake? What are you going to do? I send them down the street. Oh, my gosh. To cake comptroller. <laughs> All right, you're out of your mini trance. I can see. Out of the mini trance. All right, okay, so you're back, with, you're back with Chewie. Oh, Chewbacca! The second part, of, the first question, not really the first part, first question, because we've established that Scott Ackerman bent the rules a little bit and asked two questions. What he said here, two part questions. <laughs> what was it again? Has he ever had sex with Han Solo? Even Have you ever had sex with Han Solo? Yes, I'm including college. Hmm. His answer is very curt. Hmm. He says, not for lack of trying. Oh. Chewbacca's, did you die of a broken heart because of your unrequited love for your best friend, Han Solo? Oh, you did. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh. Are things better in heaven? Oh, then not. Really? <laughs> That's too bad. Because he'll be forever separated from ghost Han Solo. It refutes the whole idea of a heaven. <laughs> Yeah, it really does. Do what do we even believe in if, if heaven exists, but it's not better? Let me ask him. What do we even believe in, Chewbacca? He just shrugs his big wookie shoulders, takes off his bandolier of space bullets, mm. and walks <laughs> away into the distance of fictional wookie heaven. And says, <laughs> That is exactly what he said. Do, yeah. I, do you have the power of this cake scarab? I just, I know my Chewie. <laughs> Well, wow. I'm leaving my trage. Okay, come back to us. Come back to us. Cake boss. Cake boss. Thank you so much for doing that. What happened? Oh, that's right. I forgot. You don't remember anything that happened in your, <laughs> in your trances. <laughs> what would you say if I ordered a snickerdoodle cake? Oh, I'd probably tell you to go down the street to the cake comptroller. Catch Cake Boss on his show, The Cake Boss. Is it The Cake Boss or just Cake Boss? Just Cake Boss. And that is on. But I am The Cake Boss. Yes, of course. That is on the Learning Channel. Has that ever heard. been in dispute? Has anyone ever challenged you to be Oh, the many have challenged my title, Angie Richter. Really? But where are they now, I ask you? Was there any... Uh, Can I ask you that? Where are they now? Oh, they're gone. Oh, okay. Are they out dead? Out of business. Gone? Gone? I hope so. Oh, wow. <laughs> really? You, was, you wish death upon your enemies. I do. <laughs> was there anybody ever that uh, gave you sort of pause, that sort of uh, scared you? A little Ajita? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one guy, the kid out of Oklahoma City, this guy, he had a, <laughs> a real gift for making cakes. <clears throat> and he tried to take the title of boss of cakes from me, but he was vanquished in the end by my superior cake making skills. Mm. Wh was there one particular cake? Uh, I made a cake that was The Last Supper meeting Edvard Munch the Scream. And the way I had the cake was, this is what we call a practical cake, that it can do stuff. And so it would be the Last Supper, and Jesus is talking to the 12 apostles saying, look, guys, whatever you do, don't betray me, okay? And then all of a sudden, Ju the Judish uh, figurine on the cake says, I'm going to betray you. And then the Edvard Monk painting pops up and goes, oh, no, my God! <laughs> really? It's and Italian? Then, yeah, and then everybody shakes hands. <laughs> it was a delicious cake. Are they so these are figurines, like little audio animatronic They're figurines? They're made out of fondant. On, oh, I see. And I sculpt see how and it sculpting is. chocolate. What can't you do with fondant? <sighs> Heal a broken heart. Oh. oh what happened? People get sad. What do you mean? Oh, okay. Just no, I'm that. fine. Oh, I Oh, there's other people. <laughs> oh, other people's broken hearts. You know, hearts. I should have tried some fondant on my varicose veins. Oh, I wish you talked to me sooner. Ah, uh, next time. I want to give you a fondant salve. Next time. A fondant Actually, plaster. I can. I feel some forming, so I, I'll get to, I'll get to you next week. You feel some fondant forming? No, no, no. Some Can you make your veins. own fondant? Some varicose veins. Do you think you could make Andy a leg made out of cake? Like a fake leg in case something happens to his leg? A practical to... leg cake? Yeah, practical leg cake. A walk on and sentient. Could you put a little cinnamon in there and make make Andy have a leg that's alive? And I promised and myself I would never do it again. And how well, would that you was know a, that anyway? That was a droid cake. But also to have a to have a leg that's independent of your own body, I don't think it's such a hot idea. Why not? I think it would be fun. You know, you well, never it, never know where you're going to wind up in the day. Yeah, I think that's what the part about it that I don't like. <laughs> we saw all of me. It. it you know, made a million dollars. Yeah, that guy wasn't happy though in that movie. That I don't was remember happening. it all that well. I, most I, of the movie, was I don't him. know what you're talking about. Most of it's the Steve Martin Lily Tomlin vehicle. I don't know. I, I don't mm. think I ever saw it. Yeah, it's a little scene. <laughs> I think I think I walked out before the part where he was unhappy about it. You probably did. 
<laughs> I may have walked out uh, 20 minutes into the movie. You're, you're a very shrewd young uh, movie customer. <laughs> this guy over here. If something well, is not well, to my well, liking, well, I immediately you're like, walk out. You're like 12 years old or something? Uh, like, uh, this movie, <laughs> it's got a lot of problems. <laughs> this will in no way assist my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was what it was, I was future. all about. All right, so w- we were getting to it. We were getting to the reason why you came to the show, uh, buddy. You you had a, a big announcement that you wanted to talk about, and something happened to you recently, you told well, me? Well, yes. I, 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 my announcement is, everybody, be careful the mm-hmm. next time there's a full moon. Great advice. <sighs> Great advice. All right, so thank you so much. Uh, no, but, listen, what? that's... <laughs> there's more. There's more. Okay. I got bit by a cake wolf. Whoa, oh my goodness! No. When did this happen? This happened the uh, last full moon. Oh god! This cake wolf got loose in the cake kitchen. I thought it was a raccoon at first. Sure, because yeah. they're little. They're not big. Oh, cake wolves are are tiny. They're little, not oh. tiny. They're somewhere between uh, little and tiny. Okay, so some little Gary sized, maybe. Oh, perhaps, yeah. Okay, <laughs> about the size. Of maybe a little Gary is a cake wolf. Have we? We've never talked about that. <laughs> I wouldn't ask him. Oh, boy. Because well, what happens if you ask a cake wolf if oh, it's a cake wolf? Oh, you won't like the answer. Is it like if you're a cop, you have to answer? Here's the last thing you hear. Uh, here, I'll show you. <gasps> yeah. And yeah. Then, oh, my God. And then, then the fondant fangs Is that what happened to you? In. Yeah. You asked. I, I absentmindedly asked. I saw this, what I thought was a raccoon in the cake kitchen, and I was like, Oh, look at you. Look at you. Are you a cake wolf? And then, <laughs> Wait, why did, you, why did that come to you? You thought it was a raccoon. Yeah, well, because <laughs> because I was thinking of all the possibilities. I'm absentmindedly talking out loud. Why wouldn't you ask, are you a raccoon first? You, maybe you were making a joke. Thank you, Angie. <laughs> oh. Maybe I was making a joke. Oh, okay, maybe you were. I, You're I, right. I got down a tunnel to have some fun in the cake My kitchen. Apologies. I worked so hard making cakes all day. You make a lot of them. I make a lot of cakes. Not according to your Wikipedia page, but. Oh, Wikipedia, I'll get you yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so you ask it, are you a cake wolf? Yeah, and then he turns around and he looks at me and he bears his cake fangs and he oh. says, uh, here, I'll show you. Then he bites me. He sinks his fondant fangs into my arm. Angie is correct. That's what they're made of. <laughs> and I feel the hot cake fondant coursing through my veins. He's turning me into one of him. And then? Then I knew no more. I woke up <laughs> you, the next you day. Went, you went into a cake trance? <laughs> I, w- I don't know what happened. I lost time. I woke up the next day in the, on the floor of the cake kitchen. My clothes and rags and tatters. <gasps> Dirt under my fingernails. <laughs> Covered in frosting. Frosting in my eyebrows. <laughs> I was like the lingering taste of blood on my lips. Oh, cake blood or just normal blood? Both. Oh, no. Both kinds worst. of blood. <laughs> <laughs> so here's what I'm doing. I'm chaining myself up every full moon. Oh, my, course, my wife yeah. does it. She's not happy about it, but she complains it breaks my cakes. <laughs> so, uh, but if I get out, because I get pretty strong as a cake wolf. Uh, beware of anything that looks like it might be a raccoon and can understand human speech. So you, you're you a normal-sized human being. Absolutely. When you turn into a cake wolf, you shrink? I turn into a little guy, a little cake what wolf. What happens to your body mass? Where does that uh, go? You know, for every action, there's an equal or opposite uh, I think I just get really dense. Oh, I see. I yeah. See. So you're yeah, just yeah. very compact. Absolutely. All of your organs. You couldn't lift me. <laughs> Nor would I try to. I should hope not. It's yeah. rude. <laughs> it really is. People <laughs> go around lifting each other. When I see it, I always want to lecture people like, hey, didn't your mother raise you right? Yeah. What, did stop, your mother put, raise stop, you in a barn? Stop lifting people. Put that person pe- down. Stop Seriously. lifting people. I hate that. Andy, you <laughs> ever you, been lifting? Do your clothes just fall off? No, they're in tatter. He's talked about this, Andy Rick. But if he on. shrinks so tiny, you would think that he would just shrink right out of his clothes. That's what I would think, too. But I think I kind of tear him up a little bit once I turn into uh, the cake. Oh, oh. Well, probably out of, out, of, out of modesty, too. Yeah. Oh, maybe so. you got to leave something on. Yeah. You know what I didn't realize? Um, I haven't been looking at the time, but it's uh, almost evening here when we're, we're taping. Oh, it. that's true. It's a lovely evening. Yeah, it's a nice, cool uh, summer evening. It's really nice here, but I, I guess I didn't realize that at, uh, the, I, I just looked out the window and yeah. the moon is rising. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. I think that this, oh, no. it's a full moon oh, tonight. No. 
It's happening. Oh my god. You guys, you gotta get out of here. Wait, wait, I'll chain him up. I'll chain him up. Yeah, yeah. do you have extra chains? I just have zip ties. Don't ask why. Okay, sure. Okay, do what you can. I'm gonna zip tie him to the chair. There we go. Oh no, he, he shrunk, I, I, and now he's tearing through his clothes. Oh, stop that. I, 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 Those are new clothes. Yeah, the, oh, that was a nice shirt. Why would his wife let him out of the house today? I don't know. Probably just out of spite. <laughs> cake Wolf, can you hear us? I'm not going to ask you if you are a Cake Wolf. <laughs> All right, Cake Wolf, we have, we, we have questions for you. What are your plans here on on Earth for this night? I don't think I can understand it. Can you I understand? I can't understand him either. I oh, think. No. I th- oh wait, 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 wait! I took a uh, here, maybe I took a class. I took, I took, I took a, a class, class in Cake Wolf uh, in college. Uh, uh, try that. Try that one more time. Cake Wolf, you say that uh, you have a lot of business to get to tonight. Uh, is murdering. Uh, any part of your <laughs> No, you don't plan on murdering <laughs> people. <laughs> but if you happen to see any delicious cakes, <laughs> sentient or otherwise, <laughs> then you may eat them and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> what about any competing cake bakers? <laughs> oh. Oh, is that Heaven what, forbid. No, no. no. <laughs> okay, well, uh, hey, you, now, do you have any issues with uh, either and your eye? Uh, we, you've wit- we've witnessed your transformation. You don't really like that, but uh, you're going to let it go this time unless we make a big deal. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, Cake Wolf, the last time that this happened, uh, Cake Boss, who you normally are, buddy, yeah, sorry, uh, he mentioned that he woke up with. Cake blood and normal blood oh, in yeah, his yeah. teeth. <laughs> what happened? What, what happened? He has no recollection of this. What happened, <laughs> what happened was... I, <laughs> what happened was... I'm the cake wolf. Okay, continue. <laughs> I'm still the cake wolf. The cake wolf. Yes, okay, we got that. We got that part, cake wolf. Please, just continue on with the story. We know who you are. Okay, I was, walk- I, was walk- I was walking down the street. I saw a Jimmy Durante film festival happening. I said, hey, I wanna- I'm want. i a big fan. I'm going to go in. I'm going to see... Uh- Excuse me. I have a little indigestion. Uh... So what happened? You you got out of this uh, Jimmy Durante film festival, and then uh, uh, and then you 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 spied a cake shop, and it was not Buddy's cake shop, and you flew into a cake race. Oh no! We all know what happens when a cake wolf flies into a cake race. Uh, the cake fury was unleashed. You broke through, attacked the cake monger. <laughs> And uh, you bit into his delicious cake neck. I get it. Oh, you I were agreeing it. with me. Yes, yes I, I, I bit into the cake. So now I need you to continue. <laughs> uh, we're all on the edge of our cake seats. We don't know what happened. Oh, that is gruesome. That is gruesome, Andy. The details he's telling me about uh, are, 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 are not fit for human e- ears. This would be an R-rated movie if I told you, but I will tell you. He basically bit into the neck of the cake monger, mm-hmm. and uh, cake blood spewed forth because of all the uh, cake mixing that he had been done earlier sure. in the day. And uh, he got it all into his juicy, delicious, sanguine mouth, mm-hmm. and uh, he murdered that cake monger, and that has been an unsolved mystery uh, an L.A. mystery that no one knew what happened to that cake monger, and he's confessing to the crime right now, and he doesn't care about what happens. <laughs> he's saying he's only a cake... Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> what? A cake rooster! Oh, oh, it's, oh, oh, oh it's, it must be dawn! Oh, <laughs> I'm transformed back oh, into myself! I was going to take an opportunity to shoot you with a silver cake bullet. <laughs> oh, I wish you had, I ca- I like a have. long time ago. <laughs> A lot of people don't realize we tape this show at half speed, and we speed it up afterwards. And so uh, that that took about eight hours for us. I'm sure it felt like that to people. (laughs) (laughs) That is a fascinating story. Now, I don't don't know if you realize you're guilty of murder. No, I know. (laughs) 
Why are you still waiting? You said yeah. you didn't realize what had happened. Do you have the memory of the cake wolf? Well, I kind of figured it out. I mean... You know, two plus two equals four. You know what I'm saying? You heard about the murder of the cake yeah. monger. Yeah, yeah. I, was usually, like, I bet that was me. In cases like this, all you have to do is say, there's not a court in the land that would convict him. And then people just uh, they stop asking questions. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I yeah. mean, that would be a crazy trial, right? Right, right, right. They can't find a jury of uh, cake wolf peers. Right. <laughs> no. And it has to be your peers. Yeah. Why? Otherwise. Because uh. there aren't enough out there or they just can't catch them? They just can't catch them. That's also, why they, they don't vote. That's uh. why I commit crimes without <laughs> impunity, because or with impunity, I guess, because there's no talk show sidekicks really anymore. <laughs> That's true. So That's true. That's why they couldn't convict uh, right, O.J. Right. Simpson because there aren't uh, murderers out there who, <gasps> to, who will be on. O.J. Simpson, you don't know who that is? Are you He's talking a famous about Orenthal James Simpson? Uh, yeah, more commonly known as O.J. to a oh, lot of people. Oh, I get that now. Yeah. 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 He had a famous nickname. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> well, that is a fascinating story. Uh, it, it's interesting yeah. because the other... Well, <laughs> the other things that a bit you have given you powers... Uh, yeah, that one, I have control over. Yeah, this one just kind of transformed you Give into you a curse. A, this, it is like a curse. Oh, uh, it's uh, terrible. Uh, it's not great. Hmm. I'm sorry, maybe, cake monger, that I murdered. Yeah, I'll talk maybe to you, you in heaven. Should, uh, what is the other thing? Just uh, make a wolfbane cake and just, you know, like bake a wolfbane cake the night before. It's got to be cake wolfsbane, which is oh, very rare. Oh, that's so oh, hard to come by. Yeah. Yeah. Only specialty shops sell yeah. that. Yeah. Like the, yeah. No, I feel like you're making fun of me. <laughs> I feel like you're making fun of me. Well, am I making fun of you? Oh. Wait a minute. You're making fun of me. Wait a minute. You're not making, you're making fun of me. Oh, am I oh, making really? fun of you? You're making fun you're of me. You're making fun of me now. It's been thrilling. You have to agree with <laughs> I that. I got thrilled. <laughs> Chilling, too. Yeah. I got chilled. A couple yeah, yeah. of spills. Oh, it's yeah, spilled. I fell I down right something. outside. <laughs> oh, did yeah. you? Yeah, that's, that's probably why I fell down. I slipped in it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Clean up your own mess. I, oh, you really made him. He's got. Yeah, I am. It. Well, it's dangerous. I apologize. All right, it's time to play uh, a little game that uh, I believe some of you have played. It's a time to play a game called Would You Rather. I played it. I played that. And you know the lyrics to this, Cake Boss, don't you? Uh, I think so. I know part of them. Here comes the part I know. Cake boss, cake boss, cake boss, Jeremy Piven, 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 Klaus Kinski. Klaus Kinski. Whoa, new lyrics. <laughs> I like I've never heard these before. It's a remix. <laughs> all right, it's time to play Would You Rather. We all know how this is played, people. Uh, listeners of the show, write into the Comedy Bang Bang Would You Rather Twitter account. That is CBBWIR, at CBBWIR. We can stop I didn't follow any of that. Okay, I can go over it again on a future show. And they... Give us would you rather scenarios, and then I will ask the questions. I'll open up the floor. And they can do that anytime they want, right? Anytime they want, anytime they goddamn please. They can uh, just wake up in the middle of the night and go, oh, I have a, something that I forgot to do during the day. Oh, and divine light. inspiration. I'm going to send in a dumb question to this podcast. <laughs> right. Unless they uh, somehow their hands have been bound. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Then, yeah, th That's true. Unless they can. are a cake wolf and it's a full moon right. and their wives have true. bound them. Right. Right. Or if they're like some uh, feudal Asian lady or something, then they bind their hands. Right. And their like, feet. Yeah. Or a Yana Mommy. Yana Mommy. Good points, all. <laughs> all right. Is that a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. So our first question comes to us from at Denquix. Uh, and the real name is Unicode Snowman. Ooh, Both of those are not. Boy, that's irritating. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> uh, that person. Man or Thing, woman. Maybe. <laughs> sure. Maybe it's a sentient android. <laughs> it could be. Old fashioned kind, not a cake one. <laughs> oh, okay, good. I was going to say, it might have company in heaven. He's like, this guy's like, what is love? Would you rather be a peeping Tom pervert who accidentally witnesses a suicide or have stink lines coming off of you at all times? 
Would you rather be a peeping Tom pervert who accidentally witnesses a suicide or have stink lines coming off of you at all times? I am now opening the floor for questions. I got a question. Cake Boss, the floor recognizes. In the peeping Tom scenario. The peeping Tom, yes. I noticed he makes a distinction. Mm -hmm. A peeping Tom pervert. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and yet the thing which he witnesses is not really perverted. But here's the thing. If a peeping Tom is by nature a pervert... Mm -hmm. Is a peeping Tom pervert somebody who's peeping in a helpful way? <laughs> oh, so a perverted peeping Tom. Yeah. So taking the normal peeping Tom uh, impulses. Yeah. Am Impul I saying that correctly? Impulses. <laughs> and perverting them in such a manner in order to make them helpful. Is this peeping Tom peeping on things he should be peeping at? And he's just looking at stuff. <laughs> Great question. No. It's a normal. Right? <laughs> it's a normal pee -pee Okay, uh, then I have yes, a question. Uh, you have stink lines. Does that mean you actually stink? Great question. No, you do not. But people assume you do. It's a lot like Pigpen, right. uh, who has just those flies. By the way, around Pigpen are just drawn on. Oh. Those aren't real flies. I never thought of them as flies. I thought they were just dust motes. Dust. No, yeah, it's dust motes and flies. And those are those are. Boy, not, he was dirty. Those are not real though. You d that's it's the illusion of reality because they're drawn around him. He's actually Pigpen is actually very clean. A lot of people. So this don't is what that. Charles Schultz has a vendetta against this character <laughs> yeah, he created. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's trying. So he's to, just a pariah. He's trying to slander this character. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so it, you're a lot like this, where you have stink lines and you have like little drawn flies all around you. Right. But uh, if people actually smelled you, they would say, "Oh, Andy smells like a, a very uh, wonderful." I got scent. a question. Yes. Okay. When people get close, does anybody get close enough to you to realize that the stink lines do not indicate a stink, but they are just some sort of weird thing that's happening to you? Great question. Yes, you two times in your life, people will get close to you. You never know when those are going to be. Uh, a fortune teller tells you that early on in your uh, sure. life and says two times someone will get close to you. Take advantage of those times. Follow like up. The most, yes. Uh, do these people... When they get close enough to you, they realize that you don't stink. Is that correct? Uh, one of them has anosmia and does not no possess smells. no smells, and that's why they get so close to you because they're fascinated by the stink lines, and they they go, hey, you know, maybe this is the perfect match for me. Maybe this is like Ben Grimm, the thing, meeting a blind woman. We're the perfect couple for each other. I can't smell. You smell. Let's get close. And then uh, once they get close, hold on a second. Uh, oh, sorry. Am I going too quickly? No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Once they get close to you, they realize, oh, this person doesn't stink because- The person with anosmia realizes that? And I'll tell you how. Because they ask, say, hey, I'm, now that I'm close to you, do you stink? And the person says, no, I don't stink. Those are just drawn on lines. How do they know that I'm not lying? Great question. They uh, hook you up to a truth detector. Oh, or a truth detector. Or, or a lie detector. We should have built the truth detector in the first place. That's one of the things you get. You can't when you, prove when a you, negative. <laughs> when, you go, when you go to get uh, your insurance for, for anosmia, you get a truth detector. <laughs> your insurance? Yeah, yeah. How much is anosmia insurance these days? Is it's it true actually, to roof? It's a government program still. Oh, oh until Obamacare. The until the Republicans get to it. Yeah, let's fix Obamacare. <laughs> Seriously. Now, I, I have a question. Yes. Um, say there, you... You have the stink lines, mm -hmm. but you find a tribe that has never seen a, a, a Nancy comic or a family circus, <laughs> so they're not familiar with the concept of a, a stink tribe, line. Did you say? Yeah, yeah, you know, just uh, so an ancient people. Yeah, yeah, okay. and, you know, like a, a you know an Iron Age tribe. Mm -hmm. What what would they like think? steampunk people? No, no, no. Wait, I mean, did you say steampunk? I did. Oh, okay. I thought you said theme punk. I wish I'd said that. <laughs> But uh, I think steampunk people probably have seen a family circus and become steampunk in reaction to family circus. Yeah, I would imagine that Nancy. is the secret origin of right, every right. steampunk person. You like probably as a rebellion against family circus. Exactly. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, they never want to have dotted lines go from their eyes to a pie. So they decide <laughs> to cut up old watches <laughs> and make tie clips out of them. So you're saying if they've never seen the stink lines in any medium, right? Then how do they? How know? would that indicate stink to them? That is a great question. Is it just something innate in all of us that we stink recognizes stink? Uh, you're basically asking what came first: the first person to ever draw stink lines, mm -hmm. or the universal language, visual language of stink lines existing before then, and just a person drew what we all recognize to be smells. Right. That's it. Everyone knew that. You just voiced what everyone already knew. I have a question. Oh. 
Wow, that was sharp. It's very true. Well, I apologize to the uh, listener. I'm in it to win it. <laughs> You're much like a the contestants on American Idol. That's right. All the contestants on American Idol, Every they are all win it, in it to win it. Yeah. Except the one girl who went to the final. She was never really in it to win That's it that true. much. But there she is. Anyways, uh, the Peeping Tom perversion suicide scenario. Mm-hmm. The person who commits suicide. Yeah, we haven't asked anything about that. Is it someone that the human race is better off without, so it's not so bad to see the suicide? Yes, it is. It's President Barack Obama. Um, we are, he basically is so upset over the, the guilt of having uh, orchestrated the murder of another man <laughs> <laughs> that he commits suicide. And uh, You heard my question, right? Wait a minute. What was your question? <laughs> Someone that that Someone the human race is better off without. Oh, so it's not sad to see this uh, suicide. <laughs> I may have mixed up those people. Yeah, you may have. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, this is uh, Adolf Hitler Jr. This is oh. the child that Adolf Hitler had when he moved to Argentina uh, back in the fifties. Let me ask you this question yes. about Adolf Hitler Jr. Mm-hmm. AHJ the second. He's is he handsome? You know, he really is. You know, He's like handsome enough to peep on. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he made some different follicle choices. That's a good point. He made some different follicle choices than Hitler did. Hitler right. had that big sweeping kind of, uh, uh, almost like a, a new wave haircut. Like a Hitler haircut. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was a lot like a Hitler haircut. And then he had that mustache. I don't know how to describe it, really, other than a Hitler mustache. <laughs> right. And, uh, no, Hitler Jr., or Jr., as he likes to be called. Sure. Uh, I don't blame him, by the way. <laughs> sure. I more... think he went to a barber and said, give me the Hitler. <laughs> and the barber just was scared and just was like, okay, this. Wait, Hitler or Hitler Jr.? Hitler. Hitler, the first yeah. Hitler. <laughs> give me the Hitler. Hitler the first. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Well, do you think that Hitler was clever enough that he said, I'm going to invent this haircut, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it up to the barber. Right. I'm going to say, give me the Hitler. Right. And then the, the guy had to act like he knew what that was. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And then like secretly what Hitler it, was what like, whatever he, he does, I'm the fine. The middle, you know, like did the exact sort of mirror opposite. You know, it's a of lot. The Hitler. It's a lot like like the, Nikki Six from Motley Crue. Right. Yeah. Kinda. He's got that sort of catfish kind of yes, thing exactly. going on. Catfish hunter. He really looks like a catfish. That yeah. guy. I. You know, Hitler really. No, no offense to him. Hitler was really one of the only people who kind of did what Rachel did from Friends and just like named a haircut after. Hold him. Hold on a second. Huh? I realize I've spoken out of time. Mm-hmm. I meant Mick Mars from Miles. I was going to oh. say, uh, Nikki Six. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I apologize to Nikki Six. And my thoughts and prayers are with the Six family. Right, right. And to his entire band, Six yeah, yeah. I do not apologize to the entire band. Oh, okay, sounds <laughs> So, uh, on their own. Yeah. Did and you- Mick Mars is, you don't need to apologize to him because he's probably on a, a, a some sort of... Uh, Respirator now. <laughs> I bet mean, he's is, 87 years he's old. He's quite a bit older yeah, yeah. than I the rest of Motley Crue. I think his ears healed over. Yeah. <laughs> to answer your question, he has a kind of a uh, junior has a Cary Grant mustache going on, so he's uh, kind of a Tony Stark. Cary Grant, Cary, Cary Grant. Yeah, am I? Uh, that's the right person. He right? never had a mustache. Yeah, he did. You mean? No, he never did. Who am I talking no, about? No, no, you're David thinking Niven? of. Uh, no, you're thinking of. Um, uh, Clark, Flynn, Gable. Clark, Clark Gable. Clark Gable. Yeah. It's so easy to get those Clark two mixed Gable. up. Right. Let's harmonize on Clark them. Gable's oh, name. Okay, here we go. Clark Gable. Clark Gable. Oh. Mm. Clark Gable. Mm. That did that work no, at all? No, not at all. Uh, which you one, went Oprah with it. <laughs> which one killed a guy in the drunk driving accident? Oh, Clark Gable. Okay, yeah. He's got yeah. Clark Gable going on. He got drunk and he hit a guy with his car. The end. I thought that was <laughs> Howard Hughes. Uh, I think he did too. He did all, those, too. Yeah, all those yeah. rich guys. Yeah. Just Boy, I bet that happened a lot back then. Nah, you know, people keep walking. That's probably why nobody went to jail for it. <laughs> people keep walking. Cars all the time. didn't even go all that quickly back then, or but fast. They were big. That's true. They were big. Do cars ever go quickly? <laughs> At how, my car dealership, they do. How quickly does this car? G- <laughs> <laughs> That's boastful. <laughs> well, <laughs> have I answered your questions about uh, the the Hitler? Uh, Hitler? One last I don't question. Remember. Yes. Uh, is the cause of the suicide the realization that the uh, victim is being peeped upon? <laughs> Great question. Yes. Oh, you are okay. the person that causes uh, his suicide. He's so shameful of his actions that his only recourse is to commit suicide. Okay. And you live with that for the rest of your days. How do I feel about it, though? Do I feel good about feel it? Great. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cake boss. That, yeah, that's what you were now, hoping uh, for. Cake boss. Uh, will I be masturbating at the time? <laughs> In both scenarios, yes. In both scenarios. <laughs> yes. The stink lines? <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, wow. Wait, that's another reason is, why only two is, people are is, coming up to you. You're constantly life. masturbating <laughs> you, with the oh, stink Oh, yeah. Lines? Did I not say that? That's a question you got. <laughs> no, you didn't. That's why we that. play the game. True. Now, and is the, uh, the does the, the, climb, the peeping climax... 
uh, coincide with the suicide? Both of you climax at the same time. You kind of coordinated. He sees you peeping on him, and he's like, oh, I'm so ashamed, and but I still... he climaxes and dies? Yeah, I still want to come at the wow. same time. Yeah. Shoots himself in the head, which causes an explosion of semen onto your face. Is at the same time in the reality <laughs> yes. where I have the stick lines, am I masturbating and coming at the same time as those guys? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, they're just yeah. blowing my mind! You don't know why, but in another universe... I shouldn't have got high before I came in here! <laughs> <laughs> you were in a trance when we started. I know! Oh, wow. I got high in the trench. <laughs> All right. What? I took some, wo- some Wookie peyote. Bring, bring <laughs> some back next time. <laughs> I, I shouldn't hide it. I should divide it. <laughs> All right. We're closing the floor for questions. We're just about out of time. Oh, I wish uh, there was a sound effect. I have closed the floor. How do you like to vote? I'm going to go to Andy Richter first. How do you vote? Uh, I would vote for the stink lines just because on the, you know, like once or twice a year that I ride on a New York City subway, I would get half of the car to myself. <laughs> Great. Yeah, perfect. All right, Cake Boss, how do you like to vote? Uh, just out of sheer contrariness, I'm going to vote for the Peeping Tom scenario because there's so much going on in there. I kind of like the action. There really is. <laughs> it's that ancient Chinese curse, always, yep. may you lead an interesting life. And you're oh, never- I thought it was Calgon. <laughs> Take me away. <laughs> ancient <laughs> and Chinese curse. <laughs> you're also never at a loss for an icebreaker at a party. That's true. Guess right. what I did. Yes, it's me, the peeping Tom who caused the <laughs> suicide of Hitler Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tally up the points. And uh, wow, your impulse to be a contrarian paid off because that was the correct answer. And Cake Boss, you are the winner. Oh, Cake Boss. Oh, Cake Boss. Congratulations. And that is, of course, how you play Would You Rather. Could you say, just for me, could yep. you say Cake Bossulations? Cake Bossulations. Thank Cake you. Boss. <laughs> All right, let's sing it again. Here we go. Jeremy Piven. Jeremy Piven. Jeremy Piven. Jeremy Piven. Jeremy Piven. A 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 Piven. All right, that is, of course, how we play Would You Rather, uh, and... I'm proud of all of us. We did it. We taught America to laugh again. You're welcome, assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that's been it. Thank you so much for this that's exciting... That's been it. Andy, you're a good friend. Thank you. Uh, thanks for As spending this hot summer's evening with us. Oh, you're welcome. On it a was... train bound for nowhere. Oh, it was a, it was a journey. I met up with a cake wolf. On a hot summer's night, would you offer your neck to the wolf? Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, Cake Boss, thank you so much for coming by. Cake Boss! This has been an Earwolf Media production. Executive producers Jeff Ulrich and Scott Aukerman. For more information, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolf Radio. Boom. Com. <laughs> The world's dead.